There was a period of time where I found myself wrapped up in a very filthy habit. That filthy habit being uh, George Lucas and his filthy habit of dragging me out uh, on one of his all-night benders. It's funny because a lot of people saw him as a very reserved, introvert-type fellow, when in fact he was the exact opposite. He was a party python, you know, a booze cruise to his news kind of guy. He would call me up, I make millions, I don't, I don't know what to do with it, let's get wasted. That's my George Lucas for you. So on this one particular night, I said, look, Lucas, I'll go out with you, you son of a bitch. But listen, I got an early morning commercial shoot. I got to be home the latest midnight. Of course, you know, he would assure me, we'll get you home before midnight. But when you know it, it's 3 a.m. We're both in a bathroom stall. Lucas is puking his guts out. I'm holding back his hair and his beard. And he's going on about, I don't know, Spielberg screening his calls or some jazz. <laughs> I'm just... This is the guy that invented Star Wars. Chewbacca. <laughs> You know, the next morning, 6 a.m., Sunday, I'm stumbling onto a soundstage in Burbank where we're shooting this, you know, board game commercial for kids. Party! It's a party! I'm heavily hungover. We've already got a set of about 30 kids running around screaming their heads off, and I'm thinking, where do they get this energy at this hour? It's, it's 6 a.m., people. So after about an hour of four coffees and 12 cigarettes, I take one look at these kids, all squawking like seagulls in a landfill. I says, you know what, folks? We're gonna switch gears. We're gonna start with the adults. We have this fella by the name of Sonny. I was trying to get him to do this simple shot of just turning around with a pizza and saying pepperoni to the kids, like any normal human being. But every take he turned around, his face just freaked the hell out of me. I kept saying, Sonny, big smile for the kids. Nice and sweet. Turn around, and he's, he's Jack the Ripper, scaring the hell out of me and the children. I started to lose my temper a bit. I said, come on, what's the matter with you? You call that a smile? Or, you know, a serial killer's yearbook photo? And my good friend Don Woolworth pulls me aside to mention that Sonny is a member of the Valentino family, an organized mob based in Las Vegas. Don, of course, having a horrible gambling problem, ran into some debt with these fellows and brings these three stooges in as part of the payback because I guess, you know, these fellows wanted to be on TV. So of course I have to put up with Creepy Face Sonny, Never Made a Pizza Victorio, and I Can't Keep My Legs Up Jimmy, who, for whatever reason, didn't want to participate in raising his legs with the other idiots. And then came the squawking seagulls. At this point, we're way behind. Craft Services is running late for lunch. I promise the kids that if they keep up the energy and the enthusiasm, that they'll all get pizza at the end of the shoot. This never happened. One of the troublemakers, Sophie Cranston, an absolute Nightmare. Child actor moving up the ranks. A beautiful place to comb their pretty hair. And already done work with Milton Bradley and Mattel, who were, of course, uh, you know, head to head with Parker Brothers, our clients. I don't even know how she got through it not being a conflict of interest. Probably should cut that out. Milton Bradley and Parker Brothers, for sure, there was a lot of lawsuits being thrown at each other for who created, you know, Guess Who, Yahtzee, or the infamous Parcheesi, which I don't know why anyone would want to take credit for that game. Jesus. So already she was feeling very entitled, and she kept saying if she didn't eat soon, she'd get her, you know, agent or her daddy's lawyer involved. Of course, I'm trying to shut her up real quick, and I said, listen, Sophie, we're, we just need this last shot of you dancing around the table, and then we can all eat. Can we do that? Can we do that, please, for the love of God? These are her legs, okay? I need this, and she's giving me this. I'm saying, hi, yourself, you and Jimmy, I don't, I don't know what's... 27 takes, the final cut, that's the best one we got. Just... Sophie. Finally wrap up this godforsaken shoot, and I got this kid running up to me, Tommy Fitzsimmons, saying, you know, his tummy hurts, and that it might be a, a appendicitis. And I says, do you even know what an appendicitis is? And he says to me, do you? I don't know what an appendicitis is. It's usually here, right? It's down, or it's up here. Get this kid to the hospital, they run some x-rays. The doctor says, good news is, it's not an appendicitis. The bad news is, this kid has a full board game pizza in his stomach. 
It turns out all this talk of promising these kids a pizza at the end of the shoot really did a number on this starving and very confused child. Party! It's a party! Feeling slightly responsible for this kid's stupidity, went to a vending machine, got a couple of boxes, a Smarties, can of Coke, promised him once he got out of the hospital I'd take him to a Chuck E. Cheese. That never happened. Of course, when I left, he was very happy and very excited, looking less deathly and pale. At the end of the day, that's, that's what matters. You know, it's the little things. Making a kid smile. It was the whole pizza board. You know, I don't know how craft services that day. I got a package to go. The meatloaf, a little dry. Turnip soup, surprisingly good. So...